Yer, it's Perk, back with another one. And Samsung has just unveiled or revealed, however you want to say it, the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. And now, no, it's not a huge upgrade from last year's, but there are definitely some noticeable refinements mainly on the S9 Plus, where S9 Plus has six gigs of RAM and the regular S9 has four gigs of RAM. The S9 Plus has two, a, a dual camera setup and the regular S9 has a single camera setup. And now I'm not gonna go too crazy into the, the, the specs of the camera, just know that it's it's a beast it it's a beast and it's up there it's it you know samsung always brings brings it with uh brings it brings their a game when it comes to their cameras that's what i meant to say i'm sorry for stumbling on my words it's a long day um what else we got we got dual 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 speakers tuned by AKG, but here's the thing. They got Adobe Outmost, which is phenomenal if you ever heard if you ever heard it. So to have that on a phone is gonna be interesting. It's gonna be very, very interesting um moving forward. Um how you, uh, as far as how you consume your media and how you listen and interact with your phone, I think that's gonna catch a lot of people's eye. Like pretty much the camera and the improved um, speakers. Now we're we're going from mo uh, having mono speakers to stereo speakers because that's like pretty much the norm. Even though earlier Samsung, uh, not Samsung, I mean earlier Android phones that weren't that popular had that, but you know nothing new, right? Um. Same, same, same display. A six, uh, six point two inch with the, the um, uh, S nine plus, and then the regular five point eight with the nine with the regular nine. Uh, yeah, man. But what I really want to get to, right? All the specs aside, right? I'm looking at this price, and they didn't really change much from last year which is crazy it's it's insane and that's what i meant if you've seen my uh my little iphone 10 rant it's just like they overprice things but take more features out where samsung is giving you more features keeping the same features you know what i'm saying but are just able to meet you in the in the middle you know, they don't really, uh, they don't really compromise like Apple. Apple does a lot of things to compromise. And now this is why I feel like this is going to put some pressure on Apple's neck because it's going to be interesting to see if they, it's going to be interesting to see if they, uh, if they're willing to take a loss on these new iPhones that come out this year, which is, I doubt, because they're probably going to be over $1,000. I don't know about that 6.1-inch phone. It's probably going to be trash, though, just just being honest with you, and they're probably going to charge you $800 for it. Um, but like like I said, anyways, man, um, I, I'm more looking forward to see what they do with this year's Note because I'm very into the Note series now. I really F's with it. Um, but other than that... Um, Going forward, I think Samsung's in a really good spot. They're in a comfortable spot, and we could see tides turn very sooner than later. But anyways, I want you guys to like, comment, subscribe. Go check out some of my older videos, my recent videos. And I'll check y'all later for the next video. Peace. I'm out.